Classic. That's part of the extra juicy content. If you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, I posted something on my story that was a giveaway about a movie. So if you want insider information, it's there or Corbin's underwear. Mother Jules. <laughs> Jules! Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. It's up, Corbin. He doesn't wear underwear. Ah, you folks. Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter content juicy content that falls out of your Today, a new trailer dropped last night. I've heard about this. Sorry, we did. It's been all the talk. But it's, uh, yep. Mimi. Is that what you heard? That's what I heard. And it's uh, all over everybody's Pankaj Dost was posting our, about it. Our Dost Pankaj. Uh, this is his new film. I believe it comes out at the end of the month. Pankaj. Uh, On Netflix, right? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Creedy. And Creedy. Creedy. Uh, um, Netflix India, Mimi. Experience the most unexpected journey with Mimi. Mm -hmm. uh, it will leave you and your family in spits because it's nothing like what you're expecting. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I love it when my family winds up spitting all over. <laughs> That's a great thing to say about a film. Oh, it looks like uh, A.R. Rahman composed this as well, so you know the, yeah, the, uh, gonna suck. the songs are going to be just god-awful. <laughs> and if you don't and understand... I hope, it's, I hope it's quirky weird because I, I mean... He can do everything, but I think my favorite of Punk him, up? yeah, is, is when like, he's doing comedy. Like Ludo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's with Ludo or when he was my in the street. My favorite everything of Pankaj. Yeah. Everything. His neck. Oh. Because I can't say I loved Ludo more than I loved uh, Mizapur. I, I know. <laughs> like, or like. I know. Everything the man does. It's just everything he does is great. incredible. He's one of the best including, actors. Including actors. interviews. If you didn't know it, we interviewed him, so check out the interview playlist. And he's our dose. And he called us dose. The man is really happy. We didn't know until after. Yeah, but it's it's it was very endearing. Here we go. We've sat right there. Or Vicha Unka. Yeah, we have. No. Yes. Jo aapka bachcha paida karegi, usse aap 20 lakh Yes. Aap dono na note ke bistre laga ke usse No. Tu kar chuka hai? No. Usse ka shakti ka sevan kharaab hua kya? No bata. Na baby na bachcha. Na wo ko ke baaki. Ke bachcha iska hai? Are pet dekhi na na tawda? Meri zara se pet. Second, <laughs> 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 Wow, did you see that coming? It's a touchy subject.
Okay. That looks great. I would see that. Ready to watch it. I would see that right now. Absolutely. That with the two leads, music by A. Rahman. Um, that and it looks it looks funny. Yep. But it also looks that's 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 a pretty touchy subject matter. Yeah. In surrogacy. Then the parents don't want it anymore. It's a great then premise. Then they want to abort it. It's a great premise to say he's got this American couple that wants this beautiful Indian girl to have their baby. She finally agrees, and then they decide they don't want it. But rather than let her take it full term, they're like, "No, it's our kid. You got to abort it." And what do you? That's a great, yeah, simple conflict. Obviously, a lot of conflict right there. Yes. Um, let's see. Did he do English for English? No, he. He did the cinematography, cinematography, for, cinematography English. for English for English. And he's directing this. But it looks Got like it. He, he did Dears and Dougie, but I don't know if that's cinematography. Uh, he directed, yeah, it looked like he's just DOP for a ton of stuff. Oh, he directed that. So he's, go, he's gone back and forth. Yeah, so he's... I won't, I'm trying to see if we've seen anything in terms of his directing, though. No, it looks like he's mostly done cinematography with a couple directorings. Directorings? Sure, why not, Rick? Yeah. And uh, those look similar style to uh, that. It, it's very like all those uh, Yushman ones, like the one with the sperm donor and then the, right. the all those kind of, I think he did like a series of them that have like a touchy subject matter, but they're like a family quirky drama. Correct. That's that's the vibe it was getting me. But it, it like, uh, what was that one that we saw? Uh, Badai Ho. Right. In terms of the family drama, but there's a lot of quirky right. comedy in it. Uh, I'm but looking forward to it. You're going to have the... One of the greats. Yeah. Uh, I think by the end of his life, he's going to be considered one of the greatest, like Irfan, one yes. of the greatest artists to come out of India. I agree. Because uh, the man is... He, he, and his type doesn't come around often in terms of he can be the greatest dramatic actor you've ever seen and also be so freaking hilarious. Very rare. It's like Robin Williams is the first one that always comes to mind when I think of it like that. Steve Carell is also the same Steve way. Steve Carell could do that. De Niro proved he could do that later in life. He was heavy. You know, his roles were pretty consistently heavy until he did this comedy uh, called, oh man, what was it? It was Charles Grodin, Robert De Niro, and it was the first time De Niro did a comedy and everybody was like, wow. Meet the Fockers. You can do it. No, no. Way before Meet the Fockers. Um, I'm going to find it. It's a good, you should see it. It's a very good movie. Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin movie. She was a, the lead was a, I believe a dancer in Street. But... Midnight Run. Oh, Midnight Run. Came out in 1988, and that was De Niro's first foray into comedy. And it's interesting, because he still plays a heavy character. He plays like a gangster kind of guy, but it's funny. And everyone was like, who knew De Niro could do comedy? Yeah. And very similar to, to Pankaj. Honestly, it's not that, the, the people that do it really well Obviously, there's Robin's types that they, they can make anything funny ever. Right. Uh, but, like, the Nero and Impanka are similar. Like, he was in Ludo. He wasn't playing the shtick. Right. He was playing the actual character, but it's it's hilarious because it's, like, this character is saying this ridiculous thing. Yeah. And so it's, like, situational. That, that, which is always the best. Yeah. Always the best. That You just play the situation and don't try to play the comedy. Uh, so yeah, and I and think it could be. She really looks good. wonderful. She does look very good. I don't uh, think we've seen her in the. And I'm really thankful that, at least in the trailer, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that the white actors weren't seen, because <laughs> it either means they're not in a lot, or it means the director knew that they were really bad and didn't want them in their trailer. I hope that's not the case. I hope they, whatever part they do have, as you know, we need to see more Caucasian actors know what they're doing hey bollywood hire us uh tell me if i'm wrong was the the, the mom was that shahid's stepmom it looked that's who i thought it was and i, I did uh, when you pointed that's exactly who i thought that's it was. who i thought it was i can't find her on the imdb credits but that doesn't mean anything who I'm, we affectionately refer to as gangster mama she was so good so good yeah so good Sh shahid has some of the most talented parents <laughs> It's any wonder he's, he's talented, you know? Yeah, well, that's yeah. a stepmom, so... But still... No relation. No, but still influence. That's true. Um, but let me know if that's... Because it looked like her, but I didn't want to... I don't want to be wrong like I usually am. But it looks great. I hope it's, it's, I hope it's not one of those... Like, remember last year when um, Galabo Satabo came Galabo Satabo was exactly what I was like, thinking of. I didn't get it. It was all dialogue, and I just didn't get it. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, the trailer was good. Yeah, the trailer looked really good. Um, but... 
Let us know what you thought about this trailer. Uh, and uh, what's the next Pankaj thing? I, I know it's been... Besides this, obviously. Obviously, besides this. Uh, he, the man's done a lot, and uh, we love him. So please let us know what his next thing should be down below. Josh!